in today's class we'll be looking at how to solve the dot product and cross product of vectors using the casio fx 991 es plus calculator but before that we'll take some few examples before we start our solving okay guys so welcome to this class for today i'll be showing how to do dot product with the fx 991 es plus calculator um before now we've already done um the addition and subtraction of vectors for this class let's look at how to do but dot product now um we're using the same vectors we use for addition and subtraction so we're saying vector a is equal to i plus 2j minus 3k and b is equal to 2i minus 3j plus 4k let's just switch over to doing the dot product so we're saying that dot product a dot b is equal to minus 16. don't forget that we said dot product is also called um scalar product of vectors so you, so you either call it dot product of vectors or scalar product of vectors so we have you have an answer as my uh, as minus 16 what well, would we'll do the dot product so a dot b is equal to minus 16. so just a quick reminder we said for dot product we are having you multiply coefficients coefficient here is one one times two is two 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. So it becomes 2 minus 6. Minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. So it becomes 2 minus 6. That gives you minus 4. Minus 4, then minus 12. That gives you minus 16. So that's how we got this. All right, let's confirm this answer using our calculator. All right, guys. Um, welcome to another class on calculator hacks. So for today, we'll be looking at how to do dot product of vectors using the Casio calculator. And of course, our first um, task, of course, the Casio FX991 ES Plus calculator. And of course, our first task, as usual, is to put the calculator in vector mode, which we say you go to mode, so mode number eight vectors. So press number eight. That's this point here, eight vectors. The same vector a one two three that's vector a vector b or vector c i'm using number one vector a so a says dimension t three vector two vectors so i'm using number one there mm -hmm. so i'm having this so if in case you missed our first class on addition and subtraction of vectors please go and watch the class there to give you uh, more insight on how this works okay all right so let's include vector a vector a is um i that's one coefficient of i is one so one equal to coefficient of j is plus two so two equal to coefficient of k is minus three minus three equal to so i have this so i've imputed a i'll go to ac to press ac and then go to shift uh number five vector so you go to number one which is dim so number one dim that's dimension it asks you dimension for z vector a or vector b or vector c so i'm pressing number two here vector a so two vector a of course i'm using three so that's number one which says three dimension number one so you're having these three spaces um so you have these three spaces there for b my vector is 2i minus 3j plus 4k so I'll first of all put two there that represents i equal to next up minus three that's coefficient of j then equal to then plus four or four which is the coefficient so press four equal to this is the coefficient of k so i'm done imputing um b part now so vector a and vector b has now been stored in the calculator so how do i get dot product it's as easy as you press shift you come here number five number three here says vector a so press three the same vector a now, if you want to get the dots, what do you do? Still go to shift, press shift, then press number five. Look at number seven. Number seven says dots. All right, so this is how you get your dots. You now press number seven. So you're not, you're not seeing vector A dots. So try to recall vector B. So shift and then five again. So press five. Vector B is number four. So I'll press four. So my, my calculator now displays vector A dot vector B. I'll now press equal to. So you can see it confirms that our answer is minus 16. So this is how we get the this is how we get the dot product of um vectors using the Casio FX 991 ES plus calculator. All 
All right, so let's see how to do their first product. Of course, as they call it, their vector product. First of all, let's confirm that they are still intact. So shift number five, vector number three, vector A. So I'll press three, I'll press equal to. So you can see one, two, minus three. That's I plus two J minus three K, which means vector A is still intact. Um, let's look at shift number five, vector. Let's confirm that vector B is same as B. So vector B press equal to. So I'll press equal to here. So equal to. So you can see 2 minus 3 and 4. So that's 2i minus 3j and plus 4k. So yeah, it's same tax. So let's get their cross product. So it's as simple as press shift number 5. You have this. So shift 5, you have this. Then number 3 says vector A. So I'll press number 3. I can see vector A. Now you now press the normal multiplication. All right, that's what we use for cross product, the normal multiplication. So press times, and that becomes vector A cross, shifts, and then press 5, 5. Number 4 says vector B. So I'll press 4. So it's now vector A cross vector B. Don't forget, we say when we do a vector product, our answer will be in terms of vector form. That you can have I, J, and K components. So let's press equal to see our answer. So equal to. So answer is here is minus I. That's minus 1. And then minus 10j and then minus 7k all right so that's minus um i minus 10j and minus 7k so this is how you get the cross products all right so this is how we do dot product and cross products using the casio fx 991 es plus calculator see you in the next class